There was once an Egyptian ruler so crazy and cruel that he sounds like a supervillain. He cut off noses, destroyed temples, and was so hated that the rulers who came after him simply called him the enemy. Let's dive into the crazy story of Akhenaten, Egypt's worst pharaoh. Possible Patricide When it comes to ancient Egypt, the stories are so old that some details get lost in the sands of time. Plus, the Egyptians were completely terrible at keeping records, so historians often get into heated debates about what is fact and what is fiction. For example, Akhenaten might have ruled alongside his dad before he became pharaoh himself. But some experts believe that he didn't take the throne until after his dad died, and might have even killed him himself. He later became famous for his cruelty and insanity so it's definitely not out of the question that he might have decimated his father for power. It turns out that real life is actually a lot like Game of Thrones sometimes. Descent into Madness Akhenaten didn't take the throne and immediately go crazy. The first part of his career as ruler was actually pretty normal. He seemed to be following in his father's footsteps and even finished several construction projects that he had started. But after a few years, things started to change. The people close to him started to notice a shift in his personality. We don't know exactly how old he was when he rose into power, but some historians believe he might have been as young as 13. No matter how old he was, it was clear early on that he was going to become a volatile ruler. And while we don't know this for sure, just keep in mind that he might have been a child who murdered his dad and took the throne of Egypt when he was barely a teenager. After ruling for a couple of years, Akhenaten decided to organize a said festival. These parties were usually thrown for the 30th year of a pharaoh's rule. Nobody knows why he decided to have this festival when he had only been pharaoh for a couple of years, but that wasn't the only strange thing. Typically, the pharaoh would make offerings to all of the gods that the Egyptians worshipped but he decided that he didn't like all of the Egyptian gods, just Aten, a sun god related to Ra. During the festival, he only made offerings to Aten, which immediately freaked a lot of people out. Snapping necks and bouncing checks Anyone who was worried about the pharaoh at this point was about to be proven right. Out of nowhere, he decided to build a completely new capital city in honor of his favorite god, no one knows exactly why he decided to build a new city instead of just converting the old capital, but the construction came at a heavy cost, both literally and figuratively. When Akhenaten came into power, Egypt was rich, like really rich. His father had been an incredibly successful ruler who brought in piles and piles of gold through trading with other countries. But instead of taking care of the country with that money, Akhenaten decided to throw it away on a terrible plan for a new capital city. But losing some money is nothing compared to what the workers had to endure. Akhenaten wanted the new capital to be built as quickly as possible, no matter how much suffering it caused. A 2008 archaeological expedition uncovered dozens of bodies that belonged to laborers building the city, and what they found was absolutely horrifying. After studying the corpses, researchers discovered that over two-thirds of them died before they were 20. Plus, more than 60% of them had broken bones, with around 30% having broken spines. It was also discovered that the workers were severely malnourished and some of them actually died from starvation. He was killing his people and wasting money at a rapid pace. But the fun part of living under the rule of a king is that there is nothing anyone can do about it unless they want to kill their leader. In fact, speaking up and saying that you didn't like something was just about the worst thing you could possibly do. Akhenaten was famous for brutally punishing anyone he didn't like. His favorite thing to do was to have people's noses cut off. Then he would exile them to a city run by violent criminals. They would have to spend the rest of their lives there, eating rats and trash just to survive. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People When he came into power, the political situation in the area was tense but peaceful. But then, early into his rule, he started to become afraid of the nearby Hittite Empire. 
The Hittites were powerful and hungry for more land, and it looked like they were about to try to invade Mitanni. Mitanni and Egypt had issues between each other in the past, but at this point in time they were friendly. So when the Hittites finally invaded Mitanni, they expected help from Egypt in repelling the army. Akhenaten received hundreds of letters asking for help, but he simply ignored the requests. Even one of Egypt's vassal states began to fall, and he still refused to help while his subjects were decimated. The leader of the vassal state wrote to him over 60 times but was eventually beheaded by the Hittites after Akhenaten refused to help. Modern historians have heavily criticized him for his actions during this conflict. One Egyptologist wrote that he succeeded by his obstinate doctrinaire love of peace in causing far more misery in this world than half a dozen elderly militarists could have done. Basically saying that by avoiding the conflict, he allowed thousands of his people to die needlessly. Another said he was not fit to cope with a situation demanding an aggressive man of affairs and a skilled military leader. So it's safe to say that Akhenaten wasn't exactly popular. The common people hated him, the military leaders didn't respect him, and foreign empires thought he was weak. It's almost impressive how he managed to get on everyone's bad side at once. Disrespecting the Dead Akhenaten died after ruling Egypt for over 17 years. Before his death, he ordered a massive tomb to be built for him, telling his subjects, Let a tomb be made for me in the eastern mountain of Akhenaten. Let my burial be made in it, in the millions of jubilees which the Aten my father decreed for me. Keeping his body safe after death was super important to the pharaoh, but obviously, no one else cared. Within a year of his death, his fancy tomb was raided and destroyed. His mummy was recovered and moved to the Valley of the Kings, but his tomb was later vandalized as well. People just really, really did not like Akhenaten at all. In the years after his death, a massive effort was made to remove his name from history. Temples he built were destroyed, his statues were smashed and beheaded, and mentions of his name were literally erased from the records. One later pharaoh called his reign the time of the enemy. All in all, Akhenaten was one of the worst rulers in history. He failed in just about every possible way he could, and everyone around him wanted to see him dead. Ancient Egypt had a fair amount of bad rulers, but Akhenaten was in a league of his own. Okay guys, that's all we have about the worst pharaoh of all time of ancient Egypt. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest videos. Thanks for watching.